when our reservations were created, starting in, in 1875, most of them by 1893, in some cases there were many different clans that were living in those areas. And because we were all culturally linked to each other as Degenios or Kumeyaay people, they referred to us as bands. We were, um, you know, the Campo Band, the Manzanita Band, the, the Sequan Band of Mission Indians. And mission just became a generic term for all of the Indians in Southern California. So interesting. November is National American Indian Heritage Month, and joining us this morning to talk about it is Saquon Chairman Daniel Tucker to tell more, tell us more about this history of the Kumeyaay people here in San Diego. We have a very rich history of, of Native Americans in our area. In fact, one of the biggest in the country, right? That's, that's correct. There's our 18 tribes in San Diego County, most in all of the United States, mm -hmm. and we're pretty, we're not proud of that, but what, what happened in 1875, Ulysses Grant put us on this one square mile of property in the Hisa Valley to grow corn and that kind of stuff. Well, when we started uh, digging the ground, six inches down is decomposed granite, so we could not really plant anything mm -hmm. there, so we had to move on, and we had to survive with what we had, and we survived for over 12,000 years. Every generation had their, had their struggles, but with our struggle in about 30 years ago, we were still looking at the commodity truck bringing us food out to the res mm -hmm. and getting some flour and some butter and mm -hmm. the chicken in a can. But it was very interesting. But today, you know, we're able to do a lot of things for our community because we do like to give back. That's mm -hmm. the Kumeyaay way. Sure. And what we do for San Diego uh, to say thank you for coming and joining us out there is we give back to all the organizations that we can. Mm -hmm. uh, Alpha Project, uh, Diabetes or Aids Children's Hospital, all the important things for uh, our community, all of San Diego, sure. to be a, a be a, commu a community well-being with all of us who are here right well this this um, documentary that you guys did last year called mm -hmm. our people our culture our history really tells the story of the Kumeyaay people through the voices of you know the ancestors and That's the correct. people who still remain to this day and by the way congratulations yeah. on your Emmy win oh, for yeah. it that was so exciting we uh, went up there in fact they had it on Acosta so yeah. we went up there and man when they saw, called our name it was awesome it's beautiful uh, yeah. it's a beautiful documentary yes, and it, it really explains um, the amazing advancements that the Kumeyaay people made thousands of years ago I mean things that we still use to this day things that you would think oh my goodness you think this is a primitive people but they were so far advanced we really were and you know we we lived by the stars we lived by the land we lived by everything around us we knew when to harvest we knew when to do backfires in the forest and stuff like that That's fascinating to, to me our, protect the the forest itself that's out here in, in in San Diego County and the biggest thrill I get is that every time we get hit a bump in the road we persevered and we kept moving on. We kept moving on, at just like today. Mm -hmm. And now we're probably one of the most successful tribes in the country. But it's not just because of, of the gaming part, it's our culture that's mm -hmm. really, really became so much in our lives today that we have to remember where our elders were, what they sacrificed, and how we could keep that going. Because uh, when I'm in, dead and gone, I'm going to be an ancestor. I can say they did it right in 2014. Yeah, That's keep keep those to. traditions and those stories alive. And we were just talking um, since we saw you last, since mm -hmm. this um, documentary was released. We were just talking about because it was very interesting in the documentary all the amazing artifacts that have been found here in San Diego right. from the Kumeyaay people. And you were just saying that even more have been discovered yeah. just recently. Recently, we did a road project on a res, and. Um, we found a little, a little village right there by our, where our cemetery is now going down this little hill. But we, we scraped the top of the, and there it was. And these monitors And what come was out. it? It was uh, some pottery, uh, some matais. Matais is how we crush acorns. Uh, so tools. The, the tools to crush acorns with this. And uh, that's what they call matai. Mm -hmm. But in this, we found a lot of pottery, a lot of uh, burnt sacrifice things like when the tribes had uh, ceremonies they would you know we f go down far enough far enough and they say oh my we can't touch that mm -hmm. because that's probably one of our 
a burial, could have been a burial ground, yeah. whatever they had. So it's, it's, it's exciting finding these things because sure. they still are there right. in all of San Diego County, not right. just under Saquon. Well, uh, Chairman Tucker, thank you so much for coming in and giving us oh. a little bit more insight mm -hmm. into the, the history of the Kumeyaay people here right. in San Diego. Of course, you guys are a huge part of our community, and anytime you want to come back, we would uh, love we, to I hear would from love, you. Love to, love, to, right. love to come here. It's all right. Well, thank you so much. All thank right. you.